Before you begin filling the joints in between the pavers, it's important to dry your sand. Wet sand will not fill the joints and you'll end up doing much more work than you need to. It's much more efficient to dry your sand prior to filling the joints. We usually do this by finding a place in the street or possibly even a customer's garage where you can just go ahead and spread the sand. Before we begin our initial compaction, it's important that we cast a very thin layer of sand onto the pavement just to lock in our modules and keep our bond line straight. Whenever you're compacting over clay, because it is such a hard and durable material, it can easily be damaged by a steel plate on the bottom of a compactor. What we suggest using is a urethane mat that goes underneath the compactor to protect the pavers. To begin the interlock between pavers, it is important to do an initial compaction before filling the joints with sand. First, start around the perimeter of the project and then work back and forth going up the elevation. During initial compaction, the person compacting should mark the broken pavers while another person follows replacing them. In hard to reach areas where your compactor may not be able to get to, one way of making sure that those pavers are compacted is to use a 2x4 and a mallet. Also you can use a 2x4 and a mallet when you're compacting up against obstacles so that you don't have to worry about your compactor accidentally hitting them and damaging them. Because all washed aggregates have a 30 to 40 percent void ratio, they absorb water like a sponge. When your sand is wet or damp, it has a very difficult time working its way down into your joints and thus takes much longer to get a final compaction and complete joint fill. We'll show you the difference between using damp sand and using pre-dried sand right now. After nearly 10 passes with our compactor, we still don't have joint fill. The wet sand simply prevents the joints from filling up. When we go ahead now and check our joint fill while using dry sand, you can see everywhere we check, our joint is completely full. And this only after two passes.